This is evidently not the chemistry department and the, count the chemistry department not having a leather sofa. I'm currently at home, having been signed off work for three weeks because of a ruptured Achilles tendon. So in other words, the Achilles, which is this very large ligament um, at the back, I'll indicate with my good leg along here, went pop. Um, and it was a freak accident at chemistry. I wasn't doing anything dangerous, I wasn't running around, I wasn't leaping down several flights of stairs. I simply walked across the foyer of chemistry and all of a sudden I heard the snap. I was really sad about Sam's injury. Nothing to do with chemistry, but it's always sad when a friend hurts themselves. Technically, it, was, uh, it happened in chemistry but I wish it was a more exciting story that I could tell to people other than I was just walking and it just happened. But it is a good opportunity for our plaster video, which we might not have made otherwise. And many of you may be sitting, watching, with your limbs in plaster, and you don't realise you've got quite a nice piece of chemistry there. So this isn't the first cast I've had on. So three weeks ago or thereabouts, when it actually happened, uh, I went to um, the hospital. They did the diagnosis, first of all, where they made me kneel up against uh, onto a chair. So I was facing the wall, my legs were back there, and then the nurse proceeded to just prod and poke the back of my leg until I was screaming with pain. And then she said, oh yeah, you've definitely snapped your Achilles. Oh, thanks. Plaster or so-called plaster of Paris, is made from the mineral gypsum, which is calcium sulphate. To make plaster of Paris, you take gypsum, which is calcium sulphate, which has water molecules within the crystal structure, between the calcium and sulphate ions, and you heat it up hard and drive off most of the water. And then you take this powdered material, mix it with water, and the water gets absorbed back into the crystals with quite a lot of evolution of heat. So then she said, right, we'll, we'll take you straight to the plaster room. So I was intrigued. I thought surely they'd have to do, it, you know, not an x-ray because that's for bones, but I thought maybe ultrasound or something. But no, they just, she just felt where it had um, basically come apart. And then they took me around to the plaster room and that's when I was put into the kind of traditional cast. So this is the plaster of Paris, heavy, clunky, um, dirty, messy procedure. There have been cases of people who've tried to make a plaster cast of their whole body being seriously injured because they got burnt from the heat of this reaction, just adding water to plaster of Paris. So you have to be pretty careful. And it's rather like cement, but it's not nearly as strong, because after all, once the person's injury has healed, you want to get the plaster off without having to break their leg at the same time. And then once you've got the plaster on, she let it set for, I think it was about um, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. And then off I went. And so what was different between the Plaster of Paris cast and this one was that there was a big gap along here. And the reason why is because over that weekend, there was every chance that my leg would swell up as a result of healing and coping with the damage done. Calcium sulphate, Plaster of Paris, is not very strong. That's why if you have Plaster of Paris models in museums and somebody attacks it with a hammer or something, it smashes into lots of little pieces. But it's strong enough to hold your arm or leg rigid. But it's quite heavy, so nowadays they use glass fibre reinforcement. So this cast you can see, there's no gap, uh, it's several strips of the um, fibreglass that's been wrapped around the leg. So you start off with the cotton wool wrapped around uh, this, this kind of sleeve that folds over, its, uh, over the cotton wool. The fibreglass and polyurethane, now fibreglass is pretty much what it says on the tin very fine fibres of glass. Now normally you'd think your glass panes, uh, you know, windows, that sort of thing, it's a rigid, hard, strong structure. So by turning it into these very thin fibres, it becomes mouldable and flexible, but it still retains the strength of, of the glass. 
So what you've got there, obviously, you can't just get bunches of glass fibre and just, uh, just wrap it round. You need something that's going to make it extra mouldable and also um, sticky as well. Something that's going to bind everything together. And that's where the polyurethane comes in. So polyurethane is a type of polymer, i.e. a plastic. Why is it called Plaster of Paris? I think because it originally came from Paris. I believe the famous hill of Montmartre, the one that the artist all got drunk on, has quite large deposits of gypsum underneath it. And that's where it happened to be mined or quarried for the first time when people started making plaster. So this is actually, yeah, this is the first time I've had my foot in plaster. And I remember back when we were kids, my brother and I, my brother was a very boisterous young man and he always had a broken arm. He, he broke his arm four times during his childhood. Um, and every single time it was this really heavy, thick, uh, tough and rough, um, rough surface of um, plaster of Paris. And you, you'd see this and it just looked like it was like a brick. And the thing is with this kind of plaster, it's just, well, for a start, you can see the definition of the heel there and, and round here. Um, it's obviously a lot more flexible moldable than plaster of Paris. It's also considerably lighter as well. That's the thing with plasters, the tradition is that you, as soon as, as people are able to, they'll start um, putting graffiti and all sorts on here. Uh, I think that the, this is where I think the only um, benefit of having plaster of Paris is, is that it's slightly easier to write on, although you've got the rough bits, you've also got smoother bits as well. Whereas with the fiberglass, you can see there the grooves. That's why it, it's not as easy to write on, but all this writing has been done by my sister.